Let's start with a task. Listen to me speak about the impersonal pronoun and see if you can answer these questions. One, what is the impersonal pronoun? Two, what is the impersonal pronoun most often used to talk about? Three, which nouns are used with the impersonal pronoun? And four, when is the impersonal pronoun used as a dummy subject? Whereas personal pronouns usually refer to people, the impersonal pronoun is nearly always used to talk about things and animals. There is only one impersonal pronoun in English, it. We use the impersonal pronoun it, with uncountable nouns and singular countable nouns. Plural countable nouns use they. English sentences nearly always need a subject. When there is no subject, it is used in the place of the subject. We call this a dummy subject. This often happens when talking about the weather, the time, and also when giving our opinion on things and events. Instead of saying the time is getting late, we say it's getting late. Sometimes we can use it to talk about ourselves and other people. So how did you get on with those questions? Number one, the impersonal pronoun is it. Two, the impersonal pronoun, it, is mostly used to talk about things and animals. Three, the impersonal pronoun is used with uncountable nouns and singular countable nouns. And number four, it's used as a dummy subject when talking about things like the weather, the time, and when giving our opinion. So let's have a look at the different uses of it. We can use it in place of a singular countable noun or uncountable nouns when it's not necessary to repeat the noun. Here's an example. I watched a movie last night. It was okay. So in the second sentence, it has been used to mean the movie, which we've previously mentioned. So there's no need to repeat the noun. We don't have to say, I watched a movie last night, the movie was okay. We can just use the impersonal pronoun, it. We can use the impersonal pronoun in the place of the subject or the object. Here's an example of it being used in place of the subject. It's busy tonight. So in this sentence, it is the subject and it's referring to the place that the speaker is in. Here's another example. I don't like it. In this sentence, the subject is I. The verb is don't like and it, the impersonal pronoun, is used in place of the object. So we use it with specific things, animals or events. Here are some examples. I love this song. We played it at our wedding. The water was lovely. We swam in it all day. The cat watched the mouse. Suddenly it pounced. We also use the impersonal pronoun when talking about the time and date. For example, it's 10 past 12 and it's Sue's birthday. I also mentioned before that we can use it to talk about the weather and when giving opinions. It's a bit chilly in here. Here, you're giving your opinion about a place. It's so nice to see you and it's great being a teacher. 
Although it is usually used to talk about things and animals, it can also be used to refer to people. We can use it to refer to other people when we don't know who they are. When we answer the phone, we might say hello and ask, who is it? Here, it is referring to the person speaking, but we don't yet know who they are. You might also ask, who's that? Is it Tom? And then when answering this question, it can be used to refer to ourselves. So if somebody asks me, who is it? I would say it's Fiona, or I might say it's me. Your mother might say it's your mother. Less frequently, we use it for other people that we see for the first time. So if I see Lady Gaga, for example, I might say, oh my God, it's Lady Gaga. So here, it is being used to refer to the person that I'm seeing for the first time. And also, it is used informally to mean exactly what is needed. So in the sentence, she's got it, it means exactly what's needed for something. So for example, if somebody is in a talent show, and somebody says she's got it about a person performing, it would be exactly what is needed. And in that moment, that would be talent. 